Hutt's Divertimento for String Trio, Kirkel No. 563. The artists are Denis Kovac, violin, Geza Nemet, viola, and Ede Banda, cello. Mozart wrote his string trio in September 1788, a few weeks after he'd completed his last three symphonies and a year after the two string quintet masterpieces in C major and G minor. To quote Misha Donat, it's altogether characteristic that he should have cast what is one of his greatest and most serious compositions in the form of a divertimento. This work is widely regarded as the most perfect music ever written for the problematic medium of the string trio and in it, Mozart's effortless counterpoint and textural invention are nothing short of miraculous. The title of Divertimento indicates that there are six rather than four movements, two of them being dance pieces and two slow movements. But then Beethoven was to adopt much the same plan in his late String Quartet Opus 130, which is hardly thought of as a Divertimento. Mozart's two slow movements are the second, which is an adagio, and the fourth, a set of variations. The third and fifth movements are both minuets. Here, then, is the E-flat major divertimento, Kirchel number 563.
performance of Mozart's E-flat major divertimento, Kirchel number 563, was given by Denis Kovac, violin, Geza Nemet, viola, and Ede Banda, cello. <laughs> 